Everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that shows you how to get the most out of your Apple products. Today, I want to cover a really cool app that I just discovered. It's called Velo, V-L-L-O, formerly known as Vimo. When you first open the application, you're actually going to see this illustrated. An animated fish icon basically devours the former, the former name, Vimo, and then regurgitates the new name, Velo. It's pretty fun and exciting to see when you first open an application, but you know what? It pretty much anticipates what you're going to experience when you use this really cool app. So let's take a look. Velo offers two options for starting a new project, motion photo and great video. Let's start with motion photo. After you choose a photo from the camera roll or from the files folder, you are prompted to select a project size. Once you enter the app, you will find a treasure trove of motion stickers. I mean, motion stickers are grouped under the categories topic and emotion. Topic include everything you can imagine from animals to music symbols. And there are literally hundreds to choose from. Emotion includes topics like angry, funny, surprised, which appear in the guise of storm clouds, pixelated happy people, and bulging eyes. If that doesn't satisfy you, Labels, literally over a hundred of them, can also be added to your project in the form of animated speech bubbles and banners. Text can also be added to your project to further enunciate your message. For example, you can choose from words like get ready with me and red lipstick, or you can simply just come up with your own quirky expressions. And then you can just cap things off with overlays in the form of floating bubbles or dandelions blowing in the wind, for example. Motion photos are great for shorter clips, but if you want to dive a little deeper, I recommend the video editor. After selecting great video, you are prompted to select multiple clips from your files, which appear along the bottom. Inside the editor, you will notice a clean timeline editor and a menu along the bottom with corresponding menus to the left. For example, take the audio tab. When you select it, it brings up a corresponding menu that includes background music, voice, and sound effects. Motion sticker includes overlay templates. Text includes labels and captions. Picture-in-picture includes images, videos, and GIFs. And filters include various adjustment tools. When clips are selected on the timeline, they bring up a corresponding menu as well, including resizing, adjusting audio levels, speed, time range, and reversing and or duplicating clips. Transitions appear in between each clip. When selected, transitions appear as graphic animations, dissolves, slides, wipes, and fades. As you swipe up and down the timeline editor, the menu changes in accordance with the item selected. This makes it easy to fine tune each element, which has its own corresponding edit menu. Depending on the original size of your media clips, your project can be exported from 360p to 4K resolutions, and frame rates can range from 18 to 60 frames per second. Overall, Velo is a pretty fun application. You can create really cool photo animations, or you can create more advanced projects with their video editor. That's Velo by Vimo Soft. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of My Apple Podcast. Remember, you can always check me out at myapplepodcast.com. And of course, you can check me out at YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. See you next time.